Back in the day, a lot of what the field of ecology consisted of was studying samples on a small scale. Researchers would go out into the field to collect samples, let's say from forests, and bring them back to the lab to study. After analyzing these samples, scientists would be able to understand the wider area and grasp an idea of its ecology. Now though, ecologists can't really limit their studies to sampling and experimenting solely at the fine scale. That's why Patricia Serrano, Michigan State University professor of fisheries and wildlife, and many other ecologists from around the country are pioneering an entirely new field called macrosystems ecology, with help and funding from the National Science Foundation's Macrosystems Biology Program. Now, why do we need a new field? Because to tackle big environmental problems like climate change, land use, and invasive species, ecologists need to study many ecosystems and analyze plenty of data from multiple sources. And there's a near endless supply of data. Thanks to government agencies that have been monitoring natural resources for decades, university research, field sensors, observation networks, and millions of high definition satellite images, there's plenty to digest. In fact, there's so much data that a single lab couldn't possibly process all of it. They would need to revitalize the culture in which they work to be even more collaborative, open, and interdisciplinary than they already are. It's the era of big data for big ecology. Serrano says more ecologists will need to be trained in computational methods, which will allow them to study big data from complex systems at a large scale without ever having to leave their labs. And with access to supercomputers that didn't exist a few decades ago, they can compute a lot of data in a very short amount of time. Through macrosystems ecology, scientists have the tools to study broad-scale processes and their interactions with both fine-scaled and global processes. Macrosystems ecologists are up for the challenge. These pioneers are already conducting critical research and helping solve today's top environmental problems. You can find out more about this in the February issue of Frontiers in Ecology and the Environment, which is a special issue on macrosystems ecology.